to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. And we are playing Dr. Decker's Dead. Did you do it? <laughs> That's what they should have called the game. <laughs> Right, the Magnificent basically. Mystery Tour of a Therapist Detective. Basically. So yeah. we, we talked to everybody in the last episode, ex exhausted all their dialogue. It's a new day. So we're going to go to a new day. Good to see Mariana's new outfit. No, oh, jeez. See what Jai is bringing us, dude. No, oh, jeez. All right, next day, are you sure? I am sure. David Hunts. I can change my skin. Then skin. Dr. Decker dated his patients. I had a hot date. We went out for drinks. I took photos of Jessica. Dr. Decker did phone on Valentine's Day and asked me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep the locket? I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding photographs, patterns, rocking chair. I haven't been back to the beach since. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident. Where I find something. I set fire. Beautiful. In the sea. To Hannah's clothes in the garden. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Dr. Decker cursed me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. All right, they're all back, mm. dude. Oh, hey. Oh, doctor, you surprised me. Reminds me of Officer Yates. Did I ever mention I had a special friend in the police force? No, you failed to mention ah, that. It's not something you drop politely into a conversation. He's been doing some digging and he's found a couple things. There's a crime scene report that goes into all the gory details Ooh. and another report that's about a patient you're seeing today, Claire. I'll put them both on the desk for you. And thanks for the grief counselling, by the way. It's really been helping, you know, I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. Oh, we got a hug. Spiked, what's that mean? Uh, all right, well, I guess, should we read about how bludgeoned the doctor was? <laughs> Who does that? She hugged the camera. Hugged the camera and then <laughs> waves. Hi! All right, let's take a look. All right, arrest Here. report says Claire killed David. Oh, Jesus. I've underlined some things to ask her about. I wonder if Bryce buried David. What happened with Ben? Ask patients about the paper spike. Too much to do today. Too much to do today. All right, so we got everybody. All the usual suspects are here. We got Nathan. I guess we should talk to Claire well, first. Well, let's hit X to look at the report. Oh, do we have? Yeah, we actually have to do that. Yeah, we have the crime scene report. All right, let's check that out. All right, victim was located in his office, seated on his chair behind his desk, soaked in blood with an obvious chest wound. Possible murder weapons: paper spike, desk accessory, 150 millimeter long protruding from the approximate region of the victim's heart. Jesus Christ! They took a paperweight and jammed it into his chest. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Like a railroad spike. That's I'm what like I. I think of like one of those things they have at like uh, restaurants where they like put the receipts up there. Oh yeah, 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 like a nail in a board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, estimated from liver temperature measurements between whatever victim's bodies are poorly discovered at 10:20 p.m. Exsanguination due to punctuation of left anterior descending carotid artery. Exsanguination is blood loss. Okay, cool. Well, so he died because somebody stabbed him. Yep, sounds about All right. right. What's the report on Claire? There's one more right below it. Yeah. Her arrest report. Oh Jesus. Oh my God. That's on you, buddy. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Uh, let's see. On There's 24 some hours, things. Tuesday 8th, myself, uh, they were responding to a call to from the neighbor, the Bauer house, concerning a disturbance. Uh, knocked on the front door. No reply. Uh, went through the gate in the back door. Property announced themselves showing police. Let's see. Search of premises. Dining room saw a female seated next to a man who was lying on the ground. The man did not appear to be conscious. Both people were drenched in blood. There was a substantial amount of blood on the carpet, walls, and furniture. A uh, steak knife on the floor covered in blood. Asked the woman to put her hands on her head. She did. I checked the man's for signs for life, but found none. Asked the woman her name. She identified to me as Claire. I asked if she knew the dead man. She said it was her husband, David. She said she had killed him. Uh, let's see. Persons present in the house. Uh, you're under arrest of suspicion, suspicion, suspicion of no murder. murder. Okay, so... Okay. She told us she stabbed him and he was still alive. She did tell us that. And this says she he that she killed him. How's she, she not in jail? She kind of lied about that. But how's she not in jail? It's they caught her. Suspicion of murder. Red-handed. Suspicion, dude. Of murder. There ain't no bail on that. <laughs> if I if if like you, apparently you've never been a woman. Like you know, <laughs> like if I if the cop came in here and there was a dead body, I'm covered in blood. They're dead. And there's a knife. There's like, oh, we'll let you hang out till we figure out what's going on. Yeah, yeah, you, will, you know, you're fine. You're free to go. I mean, 
you All know, right. you're cool. So I definitely think we should talk to Claire about. Oh this. yeah, let's start. Let's start with this because because she's been not forthcoming <laughs> with us. <laughs> Why would wow. she have seen your arrest report? I've... All right, let's uh, let's just ask how yeah, she so is. Yeah, she's doing. Yeah, start out nice and. I've hey. been to the lake house regularly, keeping an eye on David. I saw the girl again, the one I told you about. Yeah, she's keeping an eye she on was David. She's playing outside. So she's so she's seeing her dead husband. He's not alive. David is dead. The police report says David is dead. I know, right? And it's just weird that she brought him up. So is she really crazier than we know? I think so. I think she. I think she killed him, and she's seeing him. Maybe I don't know because she said she's the one that has to take care of him. Yeah. And we're like, why can't you? Afford, because no one else can see him because he's not. Yeah. There. Anyways, uh, okay. Let's see if she's seen a arrest report. Yeah. It makes for interesting reading, doesn't it? I can tell you're dying to ask me about it. Fire away. Wow. Okay. Okay. The report says you were arrested for murder. Yeah. I mean, hey. That's what it says. I can see you're confused. The police say that David is dead, fatally wounded when I stabbed him. The coroner says that David is dead. Everyone says that David is dead. There was even a funeral. But I know he's alive. Oh, uh, uh, yep. That's uh, exactly it. I'm just going to contact the authorities. Hold on. Yeah. How would you have a funeral if he isn't dead? Did you intend to fatally wound him? Okay. Let's say. Yeah. How could you have a funeral if he isn't dead? Yeah. He's buried at Henley Church. You can go see for yourself. Oh, he's, he's buried. A headstone. One of your other patients was a poor bearer. I never forget a face. Oh, David did bury him. You should ask him. We should ask him, to be honest. He said something about Decker's coffin being a little light, too. I'm wondering about that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All I right. remember that now. Um, Did you... Oh, we know what patient, but we'll ask him. Like, let's, right. let's ask the fatally wounded one. Yeah, let's yeah. see what's up. David wanted to have a talk about our relationship. Not something any married person wants to hear. He said he'd been with Iris for about a year and that he loved her. He said he didn't love me anymore. Which I know is a lie. You don't just fall out of love with somebody. You absolutely do. I reacted badly. <laughs> Did I badly. I got the nearest weapon I could find, which happened to be the steak knife, and stabbed him with it. There was so much blood. I instantly regretted it. So, I fixed him. Oh. I fixed him? Yeah, dude. She put the blood back in. What, you gotta you gonna roll a duct tape and some and She got staple? a funnel, jammed it in the hole, started pouring blood back yeah, in. Yeah, you dude. just scrape it up with a dustpan, get the blood back in there. Yeah. He's good. He's good to go. I want to know how she fixed him. How did you fix him? It was about a week later. Oh! I brought David back to life. Oh. After he was buried. Not with voodoo. Not with virginal sacrifice. Virginal. I just willed it to happen, and it did. What? Dr. Decker told me it was possible, but only if you're not buried. So Dr. Decker's alive. He says once you're in the ground, there's no coming back. But until then, you have a chance at resurrection. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, she's, I mean, now I see why she's coming in. This, this, this video game has like Marvel movie vibes where it's like, you feel like it's normal everyday life, and then you're like, "Oh, wait a minute! Everybody's a freaking superhero! Like everybody, this person can fly and like shoot laser beams out of their freaking eyes." This one changes their skin. Just yeah, we got a lady who changes her skin, dude. Who's getting extra day, Groundhog Day, dude? Extra hour, the leech lady who can put thoughts in your head. The arson, the girl who sets stuff on fire just because. I don't know. I don't. Well, she sees moving pictures too. Yeah, oh, yeah. And talks yeah. to paintings. So let's not forget that. I just, I just don't know what. Oh, they, the leech lady. The lady. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what to expect next. I don't know what, what if it's true or not. Are these people crazy or? Yeah, because right. we're living in this we're living in this universe, and we don't exactly. know. Yeah, exactly. Their magic could be real. All right, let's, All right. Ask, let's just keep down this line. Yeah. Did you resurrect them? Yes, resurrection. But now that I've seen the results, I don't think there's anything holy about it. I think reanimation is more an accurate term. Like, I'm an evil necromancer raising <laughs> things from the dead. <laughs> you look like an evil necromancer. I mean, when I picture evil necromancer. I mean, she's not too far off. <laughs> I like the idea of a modern-day necromancer. I want to see that uh, idea fleshed out. What were the results of David's resurrection? Yeah, yeah. Well, Let's keep going. I think his brain was already decaying during the week that he was dead. Important bits. So when I brought him back to life, I didn't 
heal him completely. Just gave him life in the state he was in. I mean, he's hunting and killing things and trying to <laughs> roast them on fires he can only light with matches, but that's about it. He's your basic Neanderthal. So I have a problem. Yeah, more than one, I'd say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what, what's the problem? What? I'm being charged with murder because the police don't know he's still alive, and I can't get David to vouch for me for obvious reasons. I think it would raise quite a few more questions than answers, which is why I'm hoping that you'd be able to help me. Ha! <laughs> tell, tell everyone I didn't murder my husband. What do you want me to do? Lie. Well, what, do you want, what do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? Considering the circumstances, I'd be grateful if you could see your way to declaring me temporarily insane at the time of the murder. To lessen my sentence. Because I'm not a killer. But I can't prove otherwise. You don't still think I'm a killer, do you, Doctor? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. Yes! Yeah. You're a killer! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, oh man, dude. What if she stabs us? Oh god. Alright, let let's hold off on this. I feel like this is a very important turn of events. Yeah. Let's hold off for a second and let's just say uh let's ask about the which which page. She can just tell okay, us. Yeah, we gotta go through them Bryce all. Bryce was anyway. a pool bearer for David. Bryce. Yeah, we need He's that. also a grave digger, I believe. Yeah. So we'll ask him about that as well. Okay, and then we'll uh, we'll get more into it on the uh, oh on the next God. one, man. We can make the decision whether we're gonna call her a killer. Oh man! Whew, all right, that's folks. all the time we got for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, Jonas. DNT. We out.